Ito ang Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang naiba at kakaibang plataforma sa digital broadcast. Mula Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao hanggang sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo. Broad Streamcast Communicators, ang sandiga ng sambayanan mula sa walang labis at walang kulang na pagbabalita, paglilingkod, maglalahad ng mga mapagbuong komentaryo at usaping pambayan para sa kapakanan ng karamihan. Broad Streamcast Communicators, tuwirang maglilingkod ngayon hanggang sa susunod na henerasyon. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Ating tunghayan, pakinggan at tuklasin ang mga pangyayari at kaganapan sa mundo ng online. Buhay online, sikahan at kalamang pangkabuhayan. Alamin ang pinakalatest trends mula sa trabaho at kung hanggang saan na ang narating ng teknolohiyang ito. At ngayon, narito na ang ating host, ang ating Teki Mami, Si J. C. Bautista. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. And I see, okay, we already have some viewers. And hindi ko nakikita yung pangalan. Hindi ko nakikita yung pangalan. But um, I, I know that uh, my tita Heidi Lakap and si Dax are watching every day. They're always watching every day. Hello, Tita Heidi. Pagaling ka, Tita Heidi. Uh, magpalakas ka, Tita Heidi. <laughs> Alright, and I'll, I'll see you later. Po, tutulungan niyo pa akong pumunta sa barangay <laughs> para kumuha ng barangay certificate. I know you're watching. Sabi ni Dax, araw-araw kayo nanonood. Kasi hindi ko nakikita yung mga pangalan. Pero good morning, Tita Heidi and Dax. And of course, dun sa mga iba pang nakatutok sa atin today, happy, happy Tuesday po. Alright? We're still, of course, in the subject of um, distance learning po, no? Kasi pinag-usapan natin last week yung uh, ano ang situation, ano ang situation sa ating bansa uh, as far as uh, online learning at saka distance learning is concerned. Uh, diniscuss na po natin yung mga modular, yung mga nag-aaral ng modular way. Kasi po, uh, we have, meron tayong mga problema, there were concerns regarding online education of course by now a year and a half into, into this uh, no face to face classes medyo na ayos na po yung mga maraming ibang uh, you know kakulangan or the, of course nakapag-train na yung mga teachers yung mga materials po na ayos nang mas mabuti pero meron pa rin ng concern because yun nga yung mga sa modular yung mga materials hindi masyadong uh, Hindi, hindi na print, hindi kompleto. Hello there, Rolly Asensio. Bumatayo. Good morning to you, Rolly. Thank you for joining me today. Maraming salamat. Happy Tuesday to you, Rolly. Where are you broadcasting from? Where are you where are you um, watching from? Pero magandang umaga sa'yo. Anyway, so yon. So kahapon pinag-usapan natin yung modular distance learning, okay? What you need to know about it, kung paano... Uh, Kasi yan ang choice ng mas maraming tao, right? Ng mas maraming tao kesa sa online learning. Kasi nga, mas marami, mas malaki ang percentage ng mga, mga nag-aaral na, na wala namang capability na magkaroon ng internet or ng gadgets, right? Because of ano nga, funding, right? And um, uh, of course, blended learning, pinag-usapan yan, importante yan no? na, na iba-ibang classing modes ng, ng ng pag-aaral, pero distance learning lahat, right? Um, pero because of, pina, uh, nagkaroon tayo ng mga problema nga, initially, because the, the transition from face-to-face -to, -face to online or to modular was not smooth. Kasi nga, di ba, minadali, nagmadali talaga, okay? Nagmat, nagmadali, kaagad kasi pinasara yung mga skwela. But, you know, uh, Dahil dyan naman, nag-try naman gumawa ng paraan yung gobyerno natin by offering different kinds of modes nga of pag-aaral. 
which is yung uh, yun na nga, through through digital which is through the gadgets and online saka naman yung sa printed material which is yung uh, modular saka rin yung through radio and TV kaso nga hindi masyadong uh, nagsuffer nga totoo ang quality ng ng learning at education okay uh, for the continu- for the continuity of education for every school okay uh, yung DepEd implemented the modular distance learning nga na pinag-usapan natin kahapon distance distance learning refers to a learning d- delivery modality wherein yung learning takes place between the teachers and the learners who are geographically remote from each other during instruction ang ang distance learning kasi has three types modular distance learning all right which is MDL, online distance learning, which is ODL, saka yung TV and radio-based instruction. Ang modular, modular learning, din discussed natin hapon, is the most popular type of distance learning dito sa Pilipinas. Kasi itong mode ng, ng distance learning na ito, or modular, is currently used by all public schools through printed and digital modules. Emerged, ito, itong pinaka naging mas uh, popular Saka kasi mas preferred because nga must afford, di ba? Uh, distance learning method of parents with parents with children who are enrolled tung uh, tung tung 2020 to 2021. Pero tung incoming na nga na, na school year 2021-2022 most likely talaga modular modular learning pa rin ang mas marami. Okay? This is also in consideration of the learners in rural areas where internet is not accessible for online learning, okay? Siyempre, dito sa modular learning, kagaya yung sinabi natin kahapon, the teacher takes the, the responsibility of monitoring the progress of the learners. Yun nga, doon nag-emerge nga yung concerns ng mga teacher, okay? Tsaka, bigger responsibility on the parents to monitor their kids, and sometimes nga, it ends up, sila na gumagawa ng homework, kasi nag-homeschool. Pero kahapon, diniscuss ko yung mga anxiety at mga concerns ng mga teachers to get infected by the virus kasi nga, kailangan mong dalawin minsan yung mga estudyante mo lalo na sa mga remote areas or sa mga mayroong special needs na estudyante the teacher actually has to go go to the student's house at least once a week to check on the progress of their learners okay the learners ask assistance from the teacher via email, telephone text message, instant messaging among others where possible, the, the teacher shall do home visits dito sa mga mag-aaral niya na nagkakailangan ng remediation or assistance. Or yun nga, in some cases talaga, yung mga magulang hindi nakapagtapos. So, paano nila matuturoan yung kanilang mga estudyante? So, in the, those cases, mas nadadalas yung pagdalaw ng mga teacher doon sa ganung may mga needs na estudyante. Since education is no longer held within a school, Yun na nga, ang mga parents ay nagsisilbing teachers din, okay? Kapartner ng mga teacher dun sa education. Parents play a vital role as home facilitators. Kasi nga, their primary role in modular learning is to establish a connection and guide the child. But like I said, some of the parents hindi nakapag-aral or hindi, lalo-lalo na yung mga noon pa, mas matatanda. Hindi ba, iba yung mga subjects noon, tsaka iba yung mga subjects ngayon. So, inadequate sila in that in that manner. They feel hindi nila maturuan yung mga anak nila. So, sometimes nakakamiss ng lesson, right? Or pag or ko yung dalawang magulang nagtatrabaho, sino magtuturo sa anak, right? According to the DepEd or Department of Education, parents and guardians perform the various roles in modular learning such as a module later, okay? Bandi clock ka na and as a home innovator, okay? As a module or modulator, they are the ones to get and submit the printed self-learning modules. Yun na nga, kukunin mo pa. Yun yung sinabi ko kahapon, yung physical contact. Yung teacher at yung magulang, kailangan mag-meet up, okay? Para isubmit yung mga nagawang work, yung mga activity sheets, okay? SLM are self-learning modules, okay? So the parents, okay, they have to submit the SLMs from and to schools or barangay halls at the beginning and end of the week, every week yan, depending on the agreement between the parents and the school. As a bandiklak naman, 
they must check their child's schedule or work week plan. Because of the number of subjects or activities to be done, they, yung mga magulang must see to it that it is being followed accordingly to avoid cramming of delays in submission, saka to avoid na late or absent sa klase. They must see that it is being followed accordingly. Diba? Okay? Kasi it, this might affect the child's performance. Lastly, as a home innovator naman, kailangan, uh, kailangan nilang i-provide yung kanilang mga anak with a productive learning environment to help them focus more on learning. Yun na nga ang kahirapan dun eh. Pa, sa pag-aaral sa bahay, ang daming distractions, right? Kasi hindi yung, yung iba, lalo na yung mga masisikip ang bahay, ang daming sudyante, wala kang quiet place, hindi conducive to learning. Maraming distractions, marami kayong sabay-sabay nag-aaral. Ang hirap din tutukan as a parent, okay? It, kailangan yung lugar mo, it must be a well-lighted and well-ventilated space in the house with little or no distraction. Eh, paano nga kasi? Diba, like yung mga iba, kunyari, parang sa isang barong ba, hindi yung barong-barong. Pero like yung masikip na bahay, limang anak na nag-aaral, napakita ko na yan dito before, yung itsura ng bahay na lahat nag, nag-module, isang nanay, palipat-lipat siya ng sa sulok ng bahay niya kasi yung limang anak niya nag-aaral sabay-sabay, okay? The use of modules encourages independent study. Oo, nandun na nga ako. Independent study, self-study, right? Homeschool. One of the benefits of using modules for instruction is the acquisition of better self-study or learning skills among students. Yun na nga nan. It boils down nga sa disiplina ng pag-aaral eh, di ba? Whether or not naman face-to-face ka nag-aaral or sa bahay ka nag-aaral, ang attitude towards studying ang importante sa sa tao, okay? Kung wala naman talagang gana mag-aaral ang anak, whether it's face-to-face or module or online, hindi ba? Hindi pa rin magandang performance niya. So what is important talaga, of course, is the willingness of the student to study and the eagerness and, okay, the willingness. Okay, uh, distance learning, okay, uh, will help siguro rin the students to have better learning skills, okay? Students engage kasi themselves in learning the concepts presented in the module. They develop a sense of responsibility in accomplishing the tasks provided in the module. With little or no assistance from others, the learners progress on their own. So siguro in that manner, yung sa module, oo. Siya kasi maka hindi ka, hindi, hindi ka masyadong distracted compared to online learners na ang dami-daming windows or daming tabs dyan na pwedeng bukas habang naglalesson, nanonood ng Netflix, naglalaro ng video game. Pag nagmamodule ka, of course, eh, physical yun eh, that you have to answer. Pwede ka rin mag-video game in between, pero you know, mas, mas effort yun sa totoong buhay kesa nandiyan na yung mga tabs, right? Kasi sa, sa totoong buhay, physically kang nagsusulat, nagbabasa. Andiyan dyan yung material, okay? Okay? With little or no assistance, okay, the learners can progress on their own. They are learning how to learn, okay? They are empowered. Other advantages of modular instruction include more choice and self-pacing for students. Ayun na nga rin, para rin yung mga nag-work at work from home eh. Pinipace mo yung sarili mo, schedule mo yung work mo, ganun din yung pag-aaral, Okay? More variety and flexibility for teachers and staff, and increased adaptability of instructional, instructional, instructional materials. Okay. Ano naman ang disadvantages? Okay, yun. Baliktad nga opposite ng uh, learning new learning skills. The disadvantages include greater self-discipline and self-motivation required for students. Kaya nga kasi ang daming temptation ng distraction, right? Okay. Increased preparation time and lack of concrete rewards for teachers and staff and greater administrative resources needed to track students and operate multiple modules. Sina nga kasi wala kang reward and punishment, so to speak. Dahil ikaw lang ang buntot mo hila mo dun pagka nag-aaral ka sa bahay, right? Walang teacher na magsasabi sa'yo or ano sa'yo kung nangangopia ka or anything. Owner system na lang dun yan, tsaka self-discipline eh, ang pag-aaral sa house, right? The key purpose, okay, all right. Of my uh, my talk kahapon, okay, was to find out the challenges encountered by the teachers, which I discussed, and the parents and the students in the implementation of modular distance learning in the Philippines. Okay, 
lalo-lalo na sa public secondary schools. Dineskas natin yung kahapon kung ano-ano yung mga problema ang kinakaharap ng mga nag-aaral, right? So, uh, so again, again, I, I want to say hello to to the Lacob family. Hello, Tita Tita Agnes, si Dax, si Tita Agnes, na lagi rin nanonood, si Tita Prima Niago, Tita Agnes Lacob. And of course, hello to you, Arsenia Bumatayo. Maraming salamat at sinamahan mo kami today. All right, and of course, my family in Manila, okay, the Bautista family, of course, and the Manikis family. Hello to you guys, okay? And the Winicky family, of course. All right? So, going back to what I was saying, all right? Uh, okay, dinescuss po natin yung mga inaharap na problema ngayon ng mga nag-aaral sa bahay, lalo na na yung mga modular distance learners, okay? All right? <clears throat> Okay. Pro, nagkaroon po ng survey, no? Gumawa po ng survey ang third yung, yung third international conference on advanced research in teaching and education. Okay? Kasi ito yung tungkol sa implementation of modular distance learning in the Philippine secondary public schools, okay? All right? Ang nagparticipate dito ay mga British School of Com Columbia of Cambodia, sorry, Phnom Penh, Cambodia. College instructors at the end of the University of Cordillera at saka sa Baguio, okay? Nagkaroon sila, nagkondakt sila ng study on the implementation of modular distance learning in the Philippine secondary schools. So, yan po pinag-uusapan natin lately, okay? Ang, sa, sa result ng survey nila, from the survey, various challenges were encountered by both parents, students, and teachers in the implementation of modular distance learning. Oo, di ba? Tinakal natin yan kahapon. Talaga naman ang problema ay nando dun sa tatlo. Both sa parents, sa teachers, tsaka sa learner. Kasi nga may mga hurdles. Yun na nga, unang-una na yung material na last year, hindi they didn't print enough. Nag-share pa ng, mat, ng study material ang mga bata. Well, of course, nag-improve na ngayon. Mas marami nang na-print because like last year, the teachers themselves had to resort to printing uh, ikopya yung mga pinadala ng gobyerno ng DepEd kasi nga kulang sila mismo nagprint bumili na bond paper at nag o kaya pinotocopy okay okay from the survey various challenges were encountered by parents students and teachers in the implementation nga of modular distance learning sabihin natin ko ang results okay it shows the total number of students who participated in this study ang age level 12 years old, year level, grade 7. Ang number of students na ay 9. Okay. Na sumali dito sa survey na to. Tapos yung 3rd grade students, uh, grade 8, 4 na sumali. 14 years old, grade 9, isa lang ang sumali. 15 years old, sa grade 10, dalawa. Okay. 17 to 18 years old, grade 11, 6. At 17 to 20 years old, grade 12, 8. Okay, ang pinakamaraming respondents are ang um, age level na 12 years old or grade 7, okay? So the so the, that the, the the results show the total number of students who participated in the study. Most of the participants are grade 7, which are 9, followed by followed by 8 to 12 graders, okay? 6 to 11th graders, 4 to 8th graders. 2 to 10th graders, and the, le the least is only 1 to 9, okay, the graders, okay? Okay, siyempre, dito sa research na ito, tinanong nila kung nagkakaroon ng difficulty sa pag-aaral ng modular distance learning. Uh, ang tanong nila, do you have difficulties sa modern, mod modular distance learning? Do you have enough time to answer all your modules? Are you having difficulty in answering your modules? Uh, isa pa, question, can you answer all your modules on your own? Are your teachers approachable? Do you have gadgets to help you answer your modules? Okay? Alright, pakita ko sa inyo yung result ng survey na ito. Hindi, hindi ko na, sorry, at hindi ko na ilabas. Kunin natin ngayon, okay? Meron pa naman tayong panahon, alright? Okay, alright? So, ito yung mga katanungan, right? Okay, let's see. Dali lang, sorry. 
I will just grab it, okay, for you, for you guys to see. All right. Ayan, sandalitas. I will post it. All right. Let me just grab it, okay? Grab it. Uh, grab it. Okay, let me grab the image so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right. Uh-huh. All right. Here it is. Ayan. Okay, very good. Okay, sige. Ayan, tatakpan po yung face ko. Okay, the survey. Okay, all right. There you go, okay? Ayan, okay? All right. This is the, thir the third international conference on advanced research in teaching and education, okay? They conducted a survey, all right? Ito yung resulta, okay? And ayun yung mga katanungan na tinanong nila sa mga estudyante, all right? Ayan ang students group, all right? Yan yung kaninang sinabi ko, yung nag-participate. Yes, no, sometimes no answer. To the questions, are you having difficulty with modular distance learning? Do you have enough time to answer all your modules? Kayo ba'y nagkakaroon ng, ng, ng difficulty sagutin yung mga module? Na, nasasagot nyo ba ang inyong modules na gagawa niyo ba on your own? Yung mga teacher nyo ba nakakausap nyo? Do you have gadgets to help you answer your modules? Okay. Ayan ang, ang resulta. 27% said no. 73% said yes. Okay. Sa naman, kabila naman, 33% yes, 67% no. Okay. So figure one, it could be seen that most of the learners, di ba? Most of the learners are having difficulty in this new learning modality. Okay, sa figure one. 90% ng mga participants nagkaroon ng problema, nahirapan sila answering their modules. Okay? Tapos, kalahati sa kanila do not have enough time to accomplish their modules within a week. So, feeling talaga masyadong maraming homework or, or activity. Hindi kaya sa linggo, sa isang linggo. They often receive at least eight modules, okay ha? Eight modules in all subjects and each module has three to five activities. Oh, I mean, imagine mo yon, seven days lang a week. Okay, eight modules ang binibigay, tapos three to five activities pa each module. My goodness, I think that's quite a lot, right? The subject, well, uh, wala dito yung ano sana, may interviewin ako ko sa modular learning, pero wala dito ngayon si Book Noy eh. Pero yun nga, I, I was going to ask him talaga sana kung ano yan, because yung anak ko, uh, gave uh, his take on the online teaching kasi online nag-aaral. Si Hendrix, yung anak ni Jenny, naman modular ang kanya education. Sana, sana hands-on. I mean, person to, personally natin narinig kung paano yung mga kanyang mga concerns, right? But anyway, di ba? So yun na nga. They have about eight modules to complete in a week. The subject they are having greatest difficulty with, anong subject? Mathematics, okay? Diyan nahihirapan ng mga nag-aaral. Mathematics, followed by history, okay? Entrepreneurship, and applied economics. Sa math, okay, yung mga estudyante said that most of the math problems ay mahirap to solve and no detailed explanation is provided, Okay? Problem solving does not only include and require computation, but there is a need to understand and analyze the problem. Ayun na, kung walang nagtuturo, right? Paano mo may analyze pa? Paano mo may solve yung problem? Hindi naman yung computation lang eh. May analytical mind dapat nakasama na thinking, di ba? It is important that students comprehend, okay, and understand the problems. Kagaya sa history, di ba? Yung mga ibang mag-aaral said, that this subject has lengthy readings. Talaga naman, minsan pinapabasa sa ano ko, 400 pages a day. Or, or uh, Okay. Uh, and the question, okay, because some of the, the, like, history nga, mahabang basahin yan. And many of the students cannot understand. Okay, sandali. Tanggalin ko na itong naka, nasa mukha ko. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to discuss, okay, yung mga problemang, Problema na, what do you call this? 
problemang subjects na kinakaharap ng ating mga mag-aaral. Okay? Okay? Sa, in history nga, sabi ng mga estudyante that this subject requires mahabang pagbabasa, you know, pages and pages of material to read, okay? And many students cannot understand some of the terms used, okay? Wala silang teacher na mapagtatanungan or even magulang. Sometimes, no, kung pag hindi capable, di ba? Paano masasagot? Well, I guess they can look at the dictionary. The questions are hard as well. And there are not enough examples provided, okay? Students have difficulty in understanding the lessons and history books are li really lengthy. Lastly, okay, ibang mga estudyante nahihirapan sa entrepreneurship and practical research. Bakit? Kasi they lack knowledge about business, right? Furthermore, most of the students cannot answer all their modules independently. Hindi nila kayang mag -isa. That is why they badly need the assistance of others. And of course, in this case of this pandemic, magulang, okay, or kapatid, na, na, you know, para makatulong sa kanila. The family members, relatives, and friends of the learners play a vital role in education today. Totoo naman, true enough. Pag wala kang kasama sa bahay, for example, paano yun, like, kunyari, both magulang nga, ay nasa trabaho, or kahit na half day pa yung nanay niya, He's left on he or she is left on her own his or her own to study okay yeah. kasi nga most of the students cannot answer all their modules by themselves okay that's why very important yung family members relatives and friends sa situation ngayon siblings mga kapatid are on the top of the list helping the learners in answering the modules followed by friends and classmates although diba eight sa mintong survey 83% of the students said that the teachers were approachable naman. Yung iba naman nagsabi that teachers do not immediately respond to their questions regarding the lessons, okay? A, ma a greater majority, which is 93% of the, of the learners, have gadgets that could be useful in learning, okay? From figure 2, nakita natin 67% of students in a mountainous area of kunyari, Balbalayang National High School does not have a reliable internet connection. On the contrary, 73% of learners in Baguio National High School stated that they have a reliable internet connection. Nevertheless, most of the students from both schools still prefer modular, modular learning over online learning. Bakit? Kasi mas klaro nilang nakikita physically. Okay? Kasi minsan, like I said, before, ang online learning talaga may impediment, lalong-lalo na kung ang connection mo ng internet ay masama. Right? Kahit na gusto mong makinig sa lecture ng teacher or kahit na video yung pinanonood mo, hindi mo magawang makinig ng tama kasi nga mapangit yung connection mo. Right? That's why, ang modular, modular learning pa rin ang preference ng maraming estudyante. Okay? So, dito sa respondents ng survey nito, from a total of 30 respondents, 27 of them have chosen modular, modular distance learning. So, talagang mas pinipili pa nila yun. Okay? The main challenges that the students have encountered are self-study, poor internet connection, that's yung talaga number one, lack of sleep and time to answer all the modules due to the great number of activities, distractions, and lack of focus. Well, I said, case to case na yan. Okay? On the part naman ng mga magulang, the succeeding tables and figures who show that the data gathered from the survey, okay? From table 2, 21 out of 24, 24 parents have, have a child enrolled in grade 7. Likewise, 3 out of 24 parents have a child enrolled in grade 11. Okay. Like kanina, pinakita ko sa inyo yung mga katanungan doon sa mga estudyante. Meron din tayong mga katanungan sa magulang, okay? Una-una, are you a working parent? Do you have enough time to help your child with his or her module? Are you having difficulty with the setup schedule of the retrieval and submission of your child's modules? Are the teachers of your child approachable? Okay, do you have a reliable internet connection? All right. Okay, nasa na tayo. Okay, yeah. Having a reliable internet connection, of course. All right. The parents, okay. Ito. Ah, ka ulit naman. Ah, 
tungkol sa parents na grid. Okay? Ay, mali. Sorry. Pakita naman natin yung percentage ng mga magulang. So, that. Okay. Let me do that again. Sorry. Sensya na po. We're live kasi. Okay. Kanina pinakita ko yung students group. Ngayon naman papakita ko parents group. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mali. Crop pa natin ang point. Okay. Alright, that's better. Okay, ito na. So, ito naman yung parents group ng kanilang graph. Okay. Presensya na. Sorry. Okay, let me grab it so that you can see what I'm talking about. Alright. Uh-huh. Okay, here it is. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ito naman yung tukos sa mga magulang. Okay. Ayan. Yan yung mga questions na tinanong sa survey para sa mga parents. Alright. And as a result of that, okay. Okay, from figure 3, you should see 54% of the parents are working. And 46% are not working. However, most of them responded that they have enough time to academically assist their children in answering their modules. Talaga? 79%. Okay, hindi pa. Moreover, okay, this is 54%, okay, of parents now working, 46% not working. Okay, moreover, ang 79% ng mga magulang do not have difficulties with a, with a set schedule of the retrieval and submission of their children's modules. Okay, kasi through text, call, and social media, particularly on Messenger, okay, these are the platforms that are being used by the parents to communicate with their children, okay, with the teachers of their children. Most of them responded that the teachers of their child or children are approachable. However, some parents said that some teachers do not respond immediately to their queries and sometimes they cannot be reached because of low internet connections. Okay? All right. Can you guys hear me okay? <laughs> okay. So, patuloy na tayo, all right? So, some parents said that some teachers do not respond immediately to their queries and sometimes they cannot be reached because of low internet connection. But that's the thing, okay? Because um, most people are studying and working from home, okay? That is why it's really very important, okay? That yung internet connection ay mahusay, okay? Kaya, kaya sometimes parents and some teachers do not respond immediately to their to the questions asked kasi nga, Actually, mapangit yung signal where they are, or mahinang signal, or totally patay yung telepon nila for those reasons, okay? Alright? Doon pa sa survey na pinakita ko kanina yung mga figures, as shown in figure 4 above, above 60% of parents in BCNHS have a, in Baguio City National High School have a reliable internet connection, while 100% of parents in BNHS do not have a strong internet accessibility. Kaya nga, Kaya nga, most of the parents still prefer modular distance learning over online, okay? Alright? This approach is also in consideration of learners living in areas where internet is not accessible. Okay? Apart from that, some parents do not have enough gadgets to be used by their children for online classes. Kaya nga, sa isang pamilya, kunyari, na lima nag-aaral, so kailangan mabili ng laptop yung apat. Kung si ate lang ang may uh, laptop na nag -aaral. Because nowadays, right, technology is king. Okay? Apart from that, okay, some parents do not have enough gadgets to be used by their children for online classes. Okay? 
Some said that they do not have enough time to guide their kids due to work responsibilities. Yan na nga ba, okay? Hindi naman dapat tayo mawala ng panahon sa ating mga anak. Okay, we have to find time, right? Okay? Okay? Apart from that, okay? Okay, um, most parents still prefer modular distance learning over online or blended learning. Some parents have difficulty understanding and answering their mo the modules of their children. That's true. Because like I said, nasaka ko lang ng edukasyon. Hindi mo naman kung lahat ng magulang college graduate. Okay, on my degree. Some parents have difficulty understanding and answering the modules of their child. Okay? Alright? So some parents have difficulty understanding parang weird and answering the modules of their ch children. Okay? Some said they did not have enough time to guide their kids due to work and other responsibilities. But some modules do not have clear instructions and explanations, so students have a hard time answering them. Okay. All right. Nahilo na ako doon. Yun uh -huh. aman ang parents' group. Okay? So what about the teachers' group? Okay? Let's see. All right. Let's see. Uh-huh. Kuhaan ko lang. Let me just see. All right. Kanina, students group. Kanina, parents group. Ngayon naman, ang teachers group. Ay, malito. Ayan, tama. Okay. Kunin natin. All right. Pakita ko ulit. This is the teachers group. All right. Okay. Para makita na natin lahat. Parents, teachers, students. Okay? Alright, there you go. I got it. So, ito yung parents group. Okay? Ayan, ito ang parents group. Yan naman ang kanilang based on the survey. Alright. So, discussing the parents group. Okay. All right. Ang question ng DepEd, does DepEd provide all the modules you give to your students? Do you see any er errors in the modules provided? Number three, do you have difficulty communicating with parents? So, magagalit pa nga yung magulang pag hindi mo yan kinunta kami ng AI sa anak nila, di ba? Okay. Q4, do you have difficulty communicating with four, with uh, with modular distance learning, okay, can you, do you have a reliable internet connection? All right. So, okay, yan ang mga katanungan para sa mga teacher, okay? Okay. Sinabi nila noon that the teachers responded that the Department of Health uh, of education provides modules for them, so teachers them. However, some of them said that the modules they gave were usually incomplete. Tsaka sira sira. 95% of teachers said that they noticed errors in the modules and they were per permitted to revise the modules with mistakes. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, so there, okay? Yan ang ang mga kinakaharap na problema ng modular learning. So it could be seen from the data that I've shown that several challenges were encountered by teachers in modular distance learning. Most students cannot stay or cannot study independently. Talaga. Kailangan talaga nila yung guidance ng teacher. Whether nakaupo lang sa classroom, nakatungama, at least alam nila emotionally and psychologically that they are not alone. All right? Kasi most students cannot study independently. 70% of them cannot easily follow instructions in the modules, okay? All right? Thus, modules are often submitted late, and most of the answer sheets are blank. Allah. Teachers lack resources for reproduction and delivery of modules. Sometimes, the printer is not functioning well. In worst case, sometimes there's no electricity, okay? Therefore, they experience difficulty in printing and mass production of modules, okay? Yan daw yung naging rason okay? Some learners cannot finish their modules on time because they mostly spend their study time teaching their siblings 
with their modules and helping their parents in the field. Okay? So, this is true, right? Some nang reklamo talaga yung mga iba na hindi nila kayang tapusin yung eight modules in a week na may iba't ibang branches of activities pa. Right? Ang kaso weekly ang submission nito eh. That's why it's both a hassle to the magulang and the teacher. Actually. All right? Uh, the teachers think that students' answers in their modules have no validity and most probably, okay, mastery of the lessons is, is impossible to attain. All right? Well, hindi naman lahat ng ano, fake, no? Okay, because, and, and, and somehow, some uh, this modular learning works naman for some people, okay? Pero kasi the teachers think that students' answers in their modules have no validity kasi nga, meron tayong mga cases na talagang na nakita na yung magulang na yung mismo gumagawa ng homework, right? And most probably, mastery of the lesson tour is impossible to attain because iba yung nag-aaral para sa'yo. Parents lack, yun, ito yung pinaka-biggest problema. Some parents lack the knowledge to assist their children, okay? According to some teachers, some parents didn't finish their studies. Totoo naman, which I've been talking about the past few days. Some teachers have a weak cell phone signal. Lastly, teachers have a lot of paperwork. Okay? Mas maraming teacher na mga check na papers, paper check, and record. Okay? Alright? Based on the survey na yun, several recommendations were made. Okay? The methods and strategies okay, suggested by students to school further. Okay. Sabi ko nga, the methods and strategies suggested by the students to school to further improve the modular distance learning are a reduction of activities from the modules. Okay. More examples for each subject. Home visitation once a week. Limited face-to-face -face or blended learning. All right. However, provision of colored printed material modules immediately and okay, immediately immediate information given by teachers on what answers in the modules, online consultation with students, okay. All right. Yun naman. So nawanggit naman yung blended learning, okay? Kasi modular distance learning are reduction of activities from the modules. More examples for each subject, home visitation once a week, limited face-to-face -face class, or blended one learning, okay? The proposed solution of parents to the identified challenges in modular distance learning are re reduce lesson activities in the modules, take out the unnecessary exercises. Online learning, a Zoom meeting with the whole class with the teacher going through the modules with, exercise with students. Okay naman ang Zoom, okay? Hold on a second, all right? Okay, all right. Zoom meetings with the whole class, with the teacher going through the modules with the students is a normal occurrence nowadays, okay? All right. Accordingly, the teacher said that donations, solicitations, and assistance of PTA and other stakeholders were some of the ways to augment the financial needs of the school. The government must make the modules as textbooks and the DepEd must allocate additional funds for modules. Okay, all right. The appropriate interventions to be provided for struggling learners according to teachers are, number one, consistent uh, consi uh, community learning facilitators. Okay, next, home visitation for direct tutorials in a vernacular language. For parents, teachers can give them assistance through text and calls, community facilitation, consultation, and posting updates on social media. Okay? So come on, I'm just going to catch my breath. <laughs> okay. In conclusion, ito tungkol sa ating modular distance learning. Ang, great, ang malaking number na activities in each, in each module is one of the main problems that emerged in the implementation of modular distance learning. The DEPET the DEP should have considered this problem, reduced the activities, and take out the unnecessary topics 
so that master may more be attained as students as much as, so it will be attained as much as, much as possible okay kagaya nga ng sinabi ng mga magulang okay the lesser the better one of the concerns of the students is that they do not have enough time to answer all the modules within a week okay therefore ang ang dep ed cannot sta, okay can they cannot they, the DepEd cannot extend the duration of accomplishing the modules. Why? Because they must lessen the activities. We all know that mistakes cannot be avoided at times. Thus, teachers should reevaluate the modules and they must make sure that all the lessons are, and activities are, are appropriate to the needs of the learners, okay? All right, the parents as well as the students are right. Instructions in every exercise, okay? must be clear enough for the learners to understand. The topics may be simple, okay, and the mga guru and teachers must give like good examples. Moreover, all the printed pictures in the module should be clear, okay? The cases of COVID-19 in the Philippines are are still in great number. Face so face-to-face -face learning is not yet possible. <clears throat> all right? Okay, the next subject matter that I want to dwell, dwell on is, of course, hold on. Okay, all right. Despite the postponement of classes nung last year, I mean, palat, itong year, due to the out outbreak, the DepEd still continued with the educational system last year, ng 2020 to 2021. Ensuring that education of millions of Filipino students will not be delayed. Yung nga yung naging tagline na nobody left behind. This has been made possible by utilizing different educational alternatives other than the traditional face-to-face -face classes. Okay? Ang modular setup is uh, one of the set, one of the one of of some approaches being launched to carry over the academic system. However, the implemented Modular setup has resulted in some issues and problems that need to be addressed and assessed by the authorized person for the improvement and effectiveness of the new educational approach. So what's wrong in this picture? Talagang meron pa rin mga concerns tayo tungo sa modular distance learning. Pero ano mga gagawa natin? <clears throat> Ayan ang mas nagagamit ng mas nakakarami. Right? Okay? Okay, when they implemented the modular setup, this resulted in some issues and, and uh, problems on the interim. It, these problems needed to be addressed and assessed by the authorized people for the improvement and effectiveness of this ed new educational approach. Okay, all right. Ito mga issue na to na pag the, avail the availability of funds for the mass production of the materials is a challenge. Kasi nga, nagkakulang na nga eh. Kulang-kulang na nga last school year. Yung mga lesson materials, nagsishare na lang. Kasi nga, walang funding to do mass production. Learning of students is not guaranteed as they can ask their families to complete lessons and half. Okay. Alright. Okay? So, ito, itong mga pinakita na solusyon, right? The availability of funds for the mass production of the materials is a challenge to do. Learning of students is not guaranteed as they can ask their families to complete their lessons on their behalf. The distribution of uh, the modules adds, adds risk for the teachers as they have to go in various areas, especially in remote areas. Modular learning may not be compatible that way because uh, it, it, it's not compatible for some learners because of the different level of comprehension as some topics need to be thoroughly explained, okay? Medyo mas highfalutin yata yun. Yung ano. Okay. Yung pag-aaral na sa modular learning compared to online learning, mas marami yatang kinakaharap na problema yung modular kasi unang-una sa printing, okay? Which is the material that you need to go on with these lessons, Okay. 
Itong survey na ginawa na to, we're supposed to address problems ensuring the quality of the printed materials with complete and clear instructions to be given out to the students. Along with this is a recommendation to improve the strategy and approach of learning that will, of great, that will be of great help sa mga studyante, maximizing their resources and learning itong sa pandemya na to. Okay? So, yan ang mga naging ano, concerns tungkol sa modular learning. Right? So, tomorrow I will discuss, okay, I, there is an article that I read uh, a few days ago, okay, and this is in this COVID-19 period, ano itong article na to, okay? Kalimutan ko pala yung aking, oops. Alright, yan. Ito, oh, didiscuss natin to bukas, alright, yan. Opinion. This was, I read this, okay, yes, uh, a few days ago. Asia's Dilemma, back to school now or what? Okay? Ito pa rin ay tungkol sa pag-online learning, distance learning, yung mga take ng mga tao all over Asia, what they think about it, okay? We will discuss more of that tomorrow, all right? So if you have any questions, please feel free to field in your questions, okay, through my messenger or my facial or, or my personal Facebook, or of course, dito through broad streamcast communicators po. Padala nyo lang po yung mga katanungan nyo, and we will answer it as best as we can. Okay? So tomorrow, I will discuss yung Asia's Dilemma. Back to school now or not? Ito ay sinulat ni Crispin Maslog, okay? At lumabas to sa Rappler. Okay? Uh, Okay, also, napag-usapan din natin yung blended learning, alright? Blended learning, okay, what you need to know, alright? Uh, papasadahan ko na, ang blended learning refers to a learning delivery combining face-to-face -face learning with any or a mix of online distance learning, modular distance learning, and TV radio-based instruction. Ito, mayroon akong graphic dyan, alright? Ano ang blended learning, alright? Kita natin. Ang blended learning ay kombinasyon ng online distance learning, modular distance learning, at TV radio-based instruction. Alright? Okay? Ayan. Okay? Sa, pamag sa pamamagitan nito, ang mga mag-aaral sa eskwelahan, ma ma may papatupad ang social distancing at mababawasan ang bilang ng mga taong dumalabas sa kanilang mga bahay. Ito na ngayon nangyayari ngayon sa ating pandemic situation. We we do blended learning already because we're doing modular, okay, uh, some on, online learning, and there are some TV and radio-based learning. So, nangyayari na ngayon yan. Ayan na nga ang modes of learning natin ngayon. Blended learning. There is nga talks na baka after the pandemia, blended learning pa rin will happen. Siguro, because yun sa mga work from home, maraming mga kumpanya ang nagko-consider na ituloy-tuloy yung work from home ng some percentage of their employees working from home, some some in the office. Kasi, nakakatulong naman kasi talaga sa traffic situation, okay? Sa so convenience. Sa so, so iba naman, sa so mga mga mommies, na working mommies, okay? It's a good time for them to, uh, to adjust their schedule to be with, spend more time with their children or family, okay? Alright? So tomorrow, we will discuss more on distance learning per se, whether it's modular, uh, blended learning, or online learning, okay? Okay. Bukas pa patuloy natin yan, Okay? Napag-usapan na natin yung online distance learning, what you need to know, right? And then we also discussed today modular learning, what you need to know, and more about the situation at school and at home, mga, mga kinakaharap na mga teacher na dilemma. Okay? Alright? So, bukas po, babalik tayo, magbabalik tayo muli, discussing further, okay? Yun na nga, blended learning, mga learning management systems, how we are facilitating uh, distance learning here in the Philippines. Tsaka yun pa rin, pag nakakita pa rin ako ng material or news about it, okay, uh, 
na, na what do you call this na kasama uh, anything that uh, the news about online learning or modular modular learning or distance learning per per se okay sasama natin yan sa discussion natin okay Maraming maraming salamat sa mga sumama sa akin today here. Of course, again, thank you to the Lockup family for always giving me their support in my shows, okay? And in my posts and in my social media accounts. Salamat, salamat, salamat. And also, of course, my followers and my friends sa Facebook and sa Instagram at saka sa, saka sa YouTube. Na nasa YouTube na rin po kami. Those who miss our live broadcasts every day, okay, may view past broadcasts and episodes sa aming YouTube channel ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Okay? Nasa YouTube na rin po kami because immediately after this live stream program of mine, mama may great na kaagad tong show na tong ginawa ko sa YouTube. Alright? So, kung gusto nyo pong balikan ang ilan sa mga mga lessons, ilan sa mga workshop, ilan sa mga talks na binigay namin or mga palabas namin dito lahat ng mga programa dito sa Broadstream Cast Communicators, you can go to our YouTube channel and and go back and watch reruns of our episodes. Okay? So please, pag naka, nahanap nyo na kami sa, broad, sa, sa YouTube, ang Broadstream Cast Communicators, please like and subscribe naman. Okay? Please help us achieve our numbers so that we can we can uh, we can spread our information or do do uh, what we do to extend it to more people na matutulungan ng aming mga programa okay at uh, kasi po nang transfer na tayo nang, nandito pa rin po tayo live streaming sa sa Facebook pero nasa YouTube na rin po tayo para balikan yung mga materials na nating lahat or mga episodes ng lahat ng mga programa dito sana po tangkilikan niyo po lahat ng aming programs dito sa Broadstream Cast Communicators. Okay, uh, right after me po is, is, is Ratsada with Double J po na inyong antabayanan. Susunod sa aking programa. Alright, today is Tuesday, uh, June 6, okay, in the year of our Lord. And of course, ano ba yan June 6? July 6, sorry. Talaga sabi sa inyo, itong pag-work from home, I really get lost in space and, uh, and lost, lose track of time sometimes talaga. Hindi ko na alam ang araw ang, or, or, or days kung, kung uh, ano na. But anyway, as I always say, of course, please, please, please keep the, the love alive in your heart for people. Keep the faith, okay? Because at the end, only three things remain. Faith, hope, and love po. Faith, hope, and love. Palagi tayo magkaroon ng pananampalataya. And always hope that tomorrow when we wake up is a brighter and better day than yesterday. There's hope for everyone po habang tayo nabubuhay. And of course, love one another as this pandemic has actually um, raised more awareness and more concern and more, um, we, are, we are more mindful of each other. Nagtutulong-tulungan po ang buong mundo sa pag, uh, what do you call this? Pag, uh, to, to, to get rid of this virus, okay? So nga, kung di pa kayo nababakunahan, please, pabakuna na because we want to, to achieve a herd immunity. immunity para po, tingnan niyo po, sa Amerika po, dahil most of the people are vaccinated, hindi na nga nagmamask yung ibang tao at saka nag-enjoy na sila ngayon mag, uh, mag, kumasyal-pasyal ulit. Pero ang, ang sad dyan, of course, some countries like Taiwan and Australia, who, who who have in, been enjoying almost n- normal lives last year because ang kanilang pandemic situation ay napaka-konti napaka or wala. Especially sa Australia where my brother lives, right? Now they're in total lockdown again because of the emergence of the Indian variant, the the na, the various, uh, yung variant na yan ng virus na nasa Taiwan na rin. So, lockdown din ang Taiwan. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Okay? And I hope to see you again tomorrow po, Wednesday. Kita-kita tayong muli. Maraming maraming salamat po. At ang tabayan na lang yung kong susunod na programa. Ratsada with Double J. Thank you very much. Have a good day po. Happy Tuesday and have a good lunch.
Inyong natunghayan at napakinggan ang mga makabagong pamamaraan sa mundo ng online sa pamamagitan pa rin ng Broad Streamcast Communicators. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat po.